how can I say it? It just makes me happy that to work for an organization that I know is really helping people and getting results. There are multiple social barriers to health in the North Side. We have a large number of North Siders who, according to census, are living in poverty or working poor. It breaks my heart when the patient's readmitted and we know the issues are related to food insecurity and not even being able to afford housing. Let's build something innovative and unique that would address the needs of the community, but also address the needs of the healthcare system. With all these voices working together to make those connections to community resources, it's really highly aligned with addressing the whole person as a part of whole care. And collectively, we came together to create Thrive 18. We really wanted to hear from the family themselves and see how can we work with you to make sure you get the resources that you need. When the team screens the patient uh, and they screen positive, they're referred to community organizations such as Thrive 18, as well as a Healthy Food Center to address those needs. When we first started Thrive, we were looking at trying to reach about five of the neighborhoods on the north side. We now have been in every neighborhood. I spent over 52 years of my life here on the north side. I was born on uh, Sheffield oh, yes. and used to go to church at Regina Chaley on Juniata. You know, now here I am working for Highmark and AHN. It gives me personal pleasure to be part of the strategy to pull this off. There's a lot of good intentions from a lot of organizations and people. And the one mistake they make is they enter a neighborhood with people that aren't from there. And people are skeptical. Having the people in the neighborhood is the only thing that's make this a success from the beginning. Denisa is a lovely young woman. She's quiet, but she's strong. I like to cook, and I cook every day. To entice the kids to eat rice, she puts food coloring in it. So the rice is always pretty. African, uh, sometimes we are, we are scared American. That's when they say, why this this woman coming with me? I didn't tell her, but I was scared by my heart. <laughs> I met her through a program that Thrive 18 was asked to spearhead for the health department. First, it started out with some things she was dealing with in the house. Yeah, it was like a basement. It was um, it was too much rain, and the whole water is coming downstairs. And so I contacted housing authority for her with that, and I found out that she wanted to do her citizenship. So I helped her get connected to some of those things that she needed. Knowing that she's able to stay here in the country, she's more confident. I didn't even know she had went, but she called me and she let me know she passed, and I was so proud of her. I'm so happy I have another mother. <laughs> <laughs> we give out food twice a month to families, and we load it in their cart. Thank you guys for coming. You're thanking them. Oh, always, because without participation, our program would mean nothing. She's a typical family member that knows how to give help delicately so people aren't harmed. And I think both Renita and Randy are both examples of that. Before I started working with Thrive 18, I was actually a family that was in need of help. From there, I've been working with Thrive 18 for like two and a half years now because I know the need. I have not always been the greatest parent. I tried to be the super mom, super wife, and I fell down for a minute. And we as a family have had to overcome a lot of things. And I think places like Thrive 18 helps address some of those things. She's always been a kind-hearted person. Anytime she calls me, I make sure I answer. She's like, hey, Randy, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing good, how are you? She's like, oh, I'm doing so much better today. I met Randy, uh, her son attends the school I work at. When I was enrolled in Thrive 18, she just happened to be the worker assigned to me. So it felt a little more personal to me. Well, I had been in the hospital a couple of times with pneumonia and I was referred to Thrive 18 to get a COVID shot because COVID shots were not even open to 
immune compromised people yet. Tribe 18 has provided me with food, services, produce. Even with helping Miss Rebecca get her Duquesne light bill situated, I reached out to my supervisor like, listen, Miss Rebecca needs help. And while she was calling me to let me know that they were going to be contacting me, the gentleman was already on the phone beeping in. Between Thrive 18 and my children, I eat healthier. I definitely feel more energized. My children are relieved with Thrive 18 because they feel safe with Randy. We have to think about things totally differently. If we really want to transform healthcare, we got to be able to start from a blank sheet and rethink how we do business. Through the Thrive 18 program, Highmark Whole Care has been able to work with over 2,000 members in addressing their very specific needs. Testing these kinds of approaches, we need to be patient in understanding how they work. And ideally, we see lots of individual outcomes that are better than we would have expected. I think that's very likely. The question on the table is, can we um, accomplish community level change through this kind of intervention? Our neighbors are used to things coming and going. And I think that's what I appreciate with Highmark. They're here, they're listening, and they want to be a part of the solution for the communities. I'm so happy because I find they are a friend. She loves me and I love her too. Most kids, if you give them their self-esteem, if you help them along the way, give them some discipline and give them plenty of love, their day will be okay. They can at least survive it.